Hello, and welcome to this lesson, which is all about line decoders. Line decoders are a really useful type of combinational logic circuit. They let us take a small number of inputs and break those inputs out into large numbers of outputs. You'll see these circuits built into all kinds of other larger systems, such as multiplexers uh, or enabling circuits, any, any place where you need to sort of count or, or use a small number of inputs to control a wide array of output signals you'll see line decoders be used. So in this lesson, we'll talk about how to construct sort of an arbitrarily large sized line decoder. So let's just kind of get started. There's a little bit of terminology. First thing we talk about is sort of N to M size line decoders, where N is the number, or the number of input signals, and M is the outputs. So if we say that we have a one to two, line decoder, that means it has one input and two outputs. So let's go ahead and build a one to two line decoder, right? And we can build this using the same techniques that we've used in the past, right? We'll start with the truth table and then get our expressions. So let's start with our input, let's call that A, and then we'll have two output variables. Let's call them D0 and D1. Now A is one bit of input, and so it'll only have two rows, zero and one. And the point here is that we want the individual output signals to activate when one of the min terms of the input is true. All right? So it ends up looking like this. The output side of a line decoder truth table just looks like a diagonal like matrix. So for two, we just have one, one here on this diagonal, and then we have zeros everywhere else. So now that we have this, we look at the individual output signals, and we know that we treat each individual output as its own logic circuit, so we'll create an expression for D0 and D1 separately. So D0 is a function of A and is equal to, let's stick with the same process we always have, the sum of them in terms zero. So, and that's just equal to A naught. Now, D1 is a function of A and is equal to the sum of min terms 1, which is just equal to A. So, we see that this is a really, really simple circuit, right? D0 is just equal to A0, and D1 is just equal to A. So, we go to build it, A, and we'll have, let's put D0 up here, and D1. Now, since D1 is just equal to A, we can tie a line directly from A to D1, and then we'll break off a node and bring it up and feed that through a NOT gate, through an inverter, to D0. And there we have it. There is our circuit for a 1 to 2 line decoder. So that's our one to two line decoder. And once we have this, it actually turns out we can build any other line decoder without using the same sort of combinational logic design process. We have to follow a procedure. The procedure looks like this. It's step one, we'll set a variable k equal to the n of the decoder we want to construct. And then step two is use two to the k and gates on the output. And we'll see what that looks like when we do an example. Step three says if k is even, then we'll do the following. We'll use two k over two line decoders. So say for example, we'll say we're trying to build um, a two to four line decoder, right? k is equal to two. So then step two says use two to the k AND gates. That means we'll have four. So four AND gates. That would be our D0, D1, D2, and D3 for our outputs. And since k is even, we'll use a k over two equals two over two equals one, an input size one, two, one to two line decoders. So we'll have a one, two, and a one, and two, right? These are the ones that we just built. And so those would take their inputs, 
call it a0 and a1. And remember, each of these is going to output a0 not, a0, a1 not, and a1. And then we feed the inputs two at a time to each of the AND gates, starting with a0 not, a1 not, a0 not, a1, a0, a1 not, and a0, and a1. So this is what a 2 to 4 line decoder looks like. It's just got its k to the 2, or 2 to the 2 uh, AND gates for the output, and then two 1 to 2 decoders on the input side. Now if, so that was step 3, if k is even, but what about if k is odd? All right, we'll call that step four. If k is odd, then we use a k plus one over two decoder and a k minus one over two decoder. So let's pretend that we were making, let's use a different color. Let's say that we were making a three to eight line decoder. First things first, 2 to the k is, 2 to the third is 8. So we would have 8 AND gates on the output. 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. All right, and that would be D0, D1, all the way down to D7. And then the k plus 1 over 2 is. 3 plus 1 over 2 is 4 over 2 is 2, so a 2 to 4 line decoder. And then k minus 1 over 2 equals 3 minus 1 over 2 equals 2 over 2 equals 1. And so we will have a, you know, a sub 0 and a sub 1. And that would be a sub 2 is the input to this one. 2 to 4, right? This is the one we just built in the previous example there. We have four outputs there. That's the, you know, a0 naught, a1 naught, a0 naught, a1, a0, a1 naught, a0, a1. And then the 2 to 4 will just have a2 naught and a2. And so I won't do all of these, but you would just sort of then start feeding the inputs by like, so a0 naught, a1 naught, and a2 naught, all the way down to a0, a1, and a2, and all of the other midterm combinations in between, right? Um, you can make an arbitrarily large uh, decoder that way. So for example, we won't draw this, but if we wanted to make like a six to 64 line decoder, well then we would have two to the K, which is two to the six, which is 64 AND gates. And then K is equal to six, which is even. So we would just have two times, uh, six over two is, Three, so we'd have two times three to eight line decoders. So we just have 64 AND gates on the output and two three to eight line decoders. And that is all there is to it. Like I said, line decoders are a really handy circuit. They have lots of great functionality. You'll see them used all the time in other more sophisticated combinational logic circuits. Um, so it's a really good idea to know how to design them and build them. So um, thank you so much. Um, if you have any questions, please be sure to ask, and I will see you guys in the next lesson. Thank you.